So obviously the home fans desperately disappointed that Bo and Morganson losing that semi-final against the world champions, but the world champions were simply better today. It means we've only got one more semi-final to come, and it's men's singles and Wong Wing Ki of Hong Kong in his fourth Super Series semi-final today is hoping to reach his first ever Super Series tournament final. His opponent is the number eight seed Shrikanth Gadambi, who's trying to reach a fourth Super Series final this year. What form the Indian player has been in. So when we look at the Super Series standings in the men's singles at the moment after the Japan Open, you can see in the top 10 there are two Chinese players and two players from Chinese Taipei. Shrikanth Kadambi and Son Wan Ho actually swapped places after the Japan Open. Five of the top six players on that list have been in a Super Series tournament final this year. The only player in the top six not to have been in a Super Series tournament final is the number one, Son Wan Ho. And he's not in the final here either, because if we look at the draw for the men's singles discipline here at the Denmark Open, it was an all-Korean affair in the top half of the draw. And the number one seed, Son Wan Ho, has been beaten by the 37-year-old left-hander, Lee Hyun Il, in three thrilling games. I have to say, it looked to me as if Son Wan Ho injured his right knee within that contest. But anyway, we'll try and find out more about that. So we will discover now who will meet Lee Hyun Il in the final tomorrow. Will it be Wong Wing Ki or will it be Shrikanth Kadambi? Well, Shrikanth Kadambi has had a wonderful year so far. Three Super Series tournament finals in three consecutive Super Series. They won't in three weeks, I hasten to add. But here is Wong Wing Ki of Hong Kong. Fourth time that he's taken to the center stage on semi-finals day at a Super Series event. From India, please welcome Kidambi Shrikant. Shrikant Kidambi who had a wonderful win over the newly crowned world champion, Victor Axelsen, in yesterday's quarter-final. Kadambi lost in the final of the Singapore Super Series, the first time that two Indian players had met each other in the final of the Super Series, when he lost to Sai Praneeth. And then in the next Super Series event, the Indonesian Premier Super Series. He won the title there. The following week, he went down to Sydney, Australian Open, and beat Chen Long in the final. Chen Long, of course, the Olympic champion. So, Shrikant Skidambi in wonderful form. It is, incidentally, his first semi-final at the Denmark Open. He was quarter-finalist three years ago. He lost out to a certain someone Ho in that quarter-final. Well, I thought this man looked a little bit nervous as he walked on to centre stage, the 27-year-old from Hong Kong. His eighth appearance here at the Denmark Open and his first semi-final at this particular Super Series event, having reached the quarter-final three times. He's up one place in the world ranking this week to number 15, but as you can see, he has been as high as 10. That was one week at the end of May earlier this year. His matches so far, well, in the first round, he beat Fabian Uro from Germany in three games, the 2013 European Junior Champion. And then in the second round, uh, the man who was promoted from the qualifying to replace the number three seed, Lindan, Kasuma Sakai. And he won that, as you can see, in just 29 minutes. In the quarterfinal, against the number five seed, he came from 17-20 down in that second game, saved five game points before closing out the match. 
22-20, So to his opponent, 24-year-old Shrikanth Kidambi has been as high as three, but currently number eight in the world ranking. Quarter finalist at both the Rio Olympic Games and the recent World Championships. And he has been in a total of five Super Series tournament finals, three of them this year. Well, when we look at his matches so far in the tournament, uh, a fellow countryman, qualifier day in the first round and then in the second round, three games against Jun Hyuk Jin. Don't pay any attention to that. 111 minutes there was over an hour's delay when the lights malfunctioned and they had to move from court number three to court number one only after the match on court number two i beg your pardon only after that match on court number two had finished so hence the very long encounter but yesterday's match he was one three down in that deciding game and then probably won 17 of the next 18 points to go 18 four up this will be the fifth meeting between these two players, and of the previous four, honours are shared. But the last time they met was in the very first round of the Indonesian Premier Super Series earlier this year. And obviously, with Shrikant Kadambe going on to win the title, he obviously won that three-game match there. Christian Johannesson of Denmark is our umpire for this one. Christian Edelund from Denmark the service judge. Well, Steen, he was very impressive yesterday, wasn't he, against Victor Axelsson in that deciding game? Very much in the deciding game. I thought he was impressive all over the match, actually, because Victor played really, really well in the first two games. And um, Shrikant was still able to weather the storm and, and force a decider where Axelson was more or less a spent force. On my right, Wong Win King, Vincent, Hong Kong, China. And on my left, Kidampi, Srikant, India. Kidampi, Srikant, to serve. Level. Play. So the number eight seed, Srikant, Kidampi. Nearest to us. Service over. Wong Wing Ki making history One today is only the second ever player from Hong Kong to contest a men's singles semi final here at the Denmark Open. The first was seven years ago. Hu Service Yun over. lost in 2010 to Jano Jorgensen, who went on to take the title. Long. Two, one. So it was over. Well, Wong Wing Ki, when he first reached the quarterfinal stage here at the Denmark Open back in 2011. Two, four. On his way to that quarter-final caused a sensation because in the second round he beat the number two seed, Lim Dan, having beaten in the first round the man who awaits the winner of this match in the final, Lee hyun of Korea. Oh, that's a lovely shot. Great accuracy. And especially the accuracy is so Three, strong with uh, Shrikant. Not a... Uh, Hard smash, but extremely well placed. Service over. Three, all. Oh. Well, it's the first time they meet on a Saturday, these two players. <laughs> They've always played on Wednesday so far. First uh, round matches until now. I think so. That, that might be one of the GPG tournaments. Could have been the third round, actually. I, I'm not sure about that. But um, oh, Oof, that's, 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 that's a terrible call. 
call in. From either the line, Judge or me. <laughs> Well, I have to say, I concur with you. I thought it was way long of that back line. But what does Hawkeye say? Hawkeye agrees with us that it was out. Correction, out. Yeah. yeah. If we have to so break so down the head-to-heads, then uh, one wing key won in 2011 when uh, Shrikant was uh, more or less a youngster lost the next encounter and then won in 2016 when Shrikant was in a bit of a down period. Oh, this is a challenge here as well. And again, and challenges and again I think that the challenge may well be successful. More yeah. difficult for us to see on that far side of the court. Oh, we're keeping Hawkeye busy here. Yeah. Yeah. Correction. Service over. Four all. Play. Wow. Service over. Not much, much closer Five, than the other four. one. It was clearly out there. Yeah. Yeah. So over. Five all. Good net exchange. He had to wait until the shuttle came out of the spin before he could lift it. Yeah, same problem again there. Eight, For one five. wing key. One wing key, incidentally, was christened or rather named at birth as <coughs> Wong Shuki. And at the age of 17, changed his name from Shu because that in Chinese means loser. <laughs> oh. Okay. That's very good. Pretty much expected development um, here in the first game. Shrikant is playing the good side, and I hold him as the more native attacking player that has a, an advantage in, in the drifty conditions. Uh, not that uh, Key can't play in windy conditions. He certainly can, but he's also relying on his uh, good defense and uh, good touch. front of the court, Shrikant Kadambi. Yeah. That's given him a five-point lead. Yeah. Court 
11, 6. Play. It's going long. Oh, he's taken it. 12. Good rally for uh, Wong Wing Keep. Seven, twelve. Change the initiative around. There's the rally. It's getting longer and longer. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's a little push deep into the forehand corner of. Danby that did the damage. Eight, that one. 12. That was beautifully played. since the mid-game interval. Yeah. So it's over. Well, one of the things worth noting 13, on, uh, from a technical point of view is the uh, the shot making of the two players, how um, how short the uh, pre-swing and, and actually also the post-swing is for both players. It's not like they use the arm a whole lot and, and have to to uh, swing it a long way to execute their shots. It's uh, short, crisp shots with correct um, amount of power. Oh, yes. It's over. 11, 15. We saw Lin Dan. No, not Lin Dan. Jiang Nan in the men's doubles also with these short, soft, crisp touches. And that is um, the right way to do it. Perhaps you play in windy conditions. That's a very good place for the smash. It's the right hit. 12, 15. Shrikant Kadambi. Look at that, that's perfect. Yeah, beautiful. It's a very good musician, is Wong Wing Ki. Yeah. Very good piano player. Oh. We've got a a grand piano in our dining room at our hotel, haven't we? Yeah. He says he likes to play the piano to relax himself before he plays big matches. But I don't think he's staying at our hotel. 
12-15. Oh, that's clever, clever play from Shrikantz. 16-12. Right. Time is over. 13, 17. Oh, yes. Exactly the same placement as we saw yeah. from uh, Wong Wing Ki a moment ago. I always think it's a nice variation, the body smash yeah. in men's singles. Well, in either of the singles, to be honest. Yeah, there's another. Another body smash. And it helps keep 14, the court 18. open for the smashes straight down the line or all the way across. You also have to be alert to the body smashes. It's much harder to defend. 15, 18. Service over. Nineteen fifteen. Yeah, challenge. Yeah. Bong Wing Ki challenges called in. Well, first time he challenged, he was correct. As indeed he is the second time he's challenged. Correction. And it was the same line. So the over. He challenged the first one. 16, on. 19. Play. Oh, oh, great net play. Wonderful net play. And a nice little exchange between the two men at the net there after the rally had ended. I was just about to say what a brilliant net shot from Shrikant there, but how on earth did he control that across court? Six. 
17, 19. Time is over. 20, game point, 17. So, game point opportunities for Shrikant Kadambi. little push from Kid Ambi and he First takes the opening game 21-18 21 18. 18 minutes for the scoreline of 21-18 放得比較開的,你不要推回去 Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Well, he did look very calm and very much in control in the opening game, this man. Shrikans Kadambi. So, Sidine, what has Wong Wing Key got to do to turn this around? Yeah, he's, he's probably going to take the initiative, or he, I think he needs to take the initiative because Shrikant, being a native uh, attacking player, can play reasonably well, but better than most else playing with the drift because he wants to use the attacks. And then also his deceptive net game, his good net game, he play, he's able to play tight spinning net shots and he's also able to put deceptions on, and the deceptions deceptions help him um, control the lifts we saw Rachinag also do a really good job at controlling her lifts from that side of the court so I feel that uh, Roman Key needs to um, get the correct length on the shots to the baseline of Shrikand and, and then overcover his own front court bit too high and not exactly flat enough. And that's the situation where he should try and uh, put pressure on Shrikant, make him twist and turn and, and uh, make uh, returns that are exploitable for Wong.
Good oh. shot, good shot. Oh, it's called. Yeah, it's long. Time is over. No. Too late. I had to do it immediately. He changed it. Yeah, yes, but he changed the call immediately. But I haven't seen it. No, that's not my fault. You can't that's wait. Not my wait. Fault, uh, yes, it is. It's your obligation to do it right away. I'm sorry. Well, I can. Yeah. I mean, it, it did look as if, the, in the end, the line judge made the right decision. But uh, what Shrikanth is saying is that he indicated in, first of all, he turned away, and then the line judge changed his mind. Exactly, and, and this is where I feel that, that this rule that the challenge must be immediate is, is not interpreted um, well enough. I won't say correctly because no, I, think, I know what you mean. I, I think the umpires have been instructed in how to um, interpret it, but I just feel that it's in all Three, both players four. and audience, line judges, umpires, and so on. It's all interest to get the right call. Yeah, but it's not the coaches, and that's the main point. It's not the coaches that should make the challenge. But I mean, how, how long? Should a player watch a linesman before realizing what the verdict is? I mean, yeah, it's just unreasonable. Yeah. And, and uh, I see all judges, or, uh, umpires enforcing this rule very, very uh, meticulously, whilst other rules are uh, being more loosely administered, so to speak. Yeah. Yes, I think there needs to be a little more common sense used rather than the strict letter of the of the law. Because if, if a line judge has changed their minds, or if doubles partners you were pointing out earlier, yeah. doubles partners need to Five, say, did you, did you see four. that? And, and, and the umpire, Christian Johannesson, is a uh, very, very good uh, umpire, in my opinion, one of Denmark's two best umpires. Um, he says that it's not his fault that uh, Shrikant didn't see it. I, I, I don't think that's correct. I think he has to pay attention to when Shrikant becomes aware Six, that four. the uh, call is against him. Yeah. And that's from that point when he yeah. becomes aware that the challenge should be immediately. Yeah. Well said. Well, I did well to get back four. level at four all and then they love four down and now a couple of simple errors from Winky. Five, seven. Brilliant smash. Straight down the line. Six, seven. Yeah, plumb on the line. Control that one, and then the dive from Shrikant. Uh, I think a, a little more. Just brilliant. Look at yeah. that. Thank you. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if that's our play of the day. If not, then Eight, we've got uh, some fireworks coming up <laughs> in the rest of this match here. 
Yes, there's no more matches after this one. That's on its way out, but taking in by that side drift that's left in the unit. Not as significant as the previous days. And that, that, that's exactly one of the rallies where we see that. Uh, one wing key is really really good in the defense he's able to work um, with a low point of gravity retrieving a lot of the shots Ten, nine. Oh, this is a run of four straight points Five straight points, and one wing key has a two point advantage at the mid game interval. Good fight back. Challenge. Bombing game in ten. Challenges called out. Mm. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. Ten, eleven, play. Eleven, all. Probably going to play a short return now. Service over. 
have a feeling that there's a little bit too many mistakes 13, creeping in 12. Um, from Wong Wing Ki's point of view in order to um, put real pressure on uh, Shrikanth. I think, yeah, you really must cut down on those mistakes in order to be uh, 14, 12. relevant as we get closer to the decision of the second game so it was over it did occur to me a few minutes ago 13, as to whether 14 Shrikant Kadambi whether there might be a little bit of emotional reaction after his win against Victor Axelson yesterday because yeah. of course you know the fans were obviously all uh, shouting for Victor and uh, he had nothing to lose, Shrikanth Kadambi, because he was the underdog. Here, he's the favourite. He's the favourite. He's the favourite to win the tournament. Yeah. From from now on. Yeah. I'm not sure, I'm not sure that he does it, but he's he's the favourite. And the way I saw it, it was a small final yesterday. Uh, mm. And I mean, everybody's looking to beat the world champion on uh, on home soil. Oh, oh that's nice. Quick towel. Quick. No, no drinking. Just a towel. Yeah, I won't allow to towel down. Not to. Not to have a drink. Fantastic spin in that forehand. Mm. Um, can, it's a really, really difficult shot. Yeah, look how the shuttle tumbles yeah. and spins. And 16, Most 15. of these shots, when, when players make them spin away from the net, and are actually quite easy to, um, to lift, but that's not the case with this one. I appreciate everything you've been saying, Steen, about the defence of Wong Wing Ki, and you said that he should really try and command in this second game yeah. the, the front of the court more. Uh, he's, he's often there, but he doesn't seem to really use his reach to take the shuttle as early as possible. The number of times he sort of lets it come to him, and I think that's his downfall here, really. I mean, he might still win yet, but... And also, content. To, to defend and it should only be a, a, a survival to go in defense and he's able to survive longer than most players because he's got a good defense but he cannot win on it he's got to create his own lock yeah. the way I see it but he's still within striking distance there's just not room for that many errors and um, it's very difficult when you have uh, such a strong attacking player on the other side as um, Shrikan Kidambi. In the middle of the field. Yeah. yeah, both men sparring quite heavily. Not surprising. 18. It's a good match. Time is over. Trickham is now just two points 19, away 16. from a fourth Super Series <laughs> tournament final this year.
Ooh. A little bit of tension, perhaps, in the arm. We'll see who gets to his goal. Oh, that's superb again. And again, that little swing. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't give it a whole lot of uh, pace. It just gets it really quickly past one wing keep. So three match point opportunities for Shrikant Kadambi. Good defence. And again. And Shrikan Gadambi secures his victory over Wong Wing Key. And it means that he will contest a fourth Super Series tournament final tomorrow here in Ordensa during this year, 2017. There'll be a sixth Super Series tournament final in total for this charming young man from India. And that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes the matches for today. 21 In just under 40 minutes of play. This is the final rally. It was a good rally, too. Confirmation of that scoreline. 39 minutes, and he's through to yet another Super Series tournament final. Well, what a semi finals day it has been. We've seen some wonderful badminton, and it all started with women's singles and the defending champion, Akane Yamaguchi, coming from a game and 3 8 down in the second to beat the World Championship bronze medalist Chen Wufei of China in a match lasting an hour and five minutes. Then probably the biggest upset of the day because Tang and Si from Hong Kong, the two left-handers, defeated the reigning world and Olympic champions. In that opening game, they were 5-10 down before winning it 21-16. Close second game, as you can see, but that really was a huge upset and very well deserved by the Hong Kong pair. Then we saw the second of the women's singles, and again, it was a thrilling encounter. Rachanuk Intanon, the 2013 world champion, beat uh, last year's beaten finalist and current world number one in three games. 21-14 in that deciding game. Another match lasting over an hour. Then it was men's doubles and the home favourites, Matthias Bow and Carsten Morgensen. Well, they gave it their all against the newly crowned world champions. But Liu Cheng and Zhang Nang, Zhang Nang especially, I thought was outstanding in that men's doubles semi-final. Again, it was a three-game encounter. One hour and seven minutes for the world champions to come through that. And as we've just witnessed, Srikanth Kadambi He's through to a fourth Super Series tournament final this year with a straight game win over Wong Wing Key of Hong Kong. So that concludes semi-finals. Finals tomorrow were slightly later than today, just half an hour later. That's 12.30 local time. That's 10.30 uh, GMT from St. Peterson and myself, Jill Clark. We'll see you tomorrow for the finals. Bye for now.